Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how I created this puppet theater. The items that we'll need are two wooden crates. So I did buy these at Michael's and I don't need to paint all of the sides. So it's not that I was being lazy. I just didn't want to waste paint if I don't need it because the way that we're going to build the puppet theater, the parts that are not painted are not going to be showing. So I just painted the bottom is very important to paint and one side of this. So you can also paint the inside like I did as well. And we are going to be using some red cur some red curtains for the puppet theater. I actually haven't even opened these yet, but I have an idea of how I want them. So we'll see if my idea works. And then we'll need some little tiny screws not screws, these are nails. So we have some nails and then a hammer and I have scissors, but I don't, oh yeah, and scissors for the curtain. I'm showing you the parts of the crate that I didn't paint. So it's the bottom and one side and I'll show you on the other one as well. You want to make sure that the wooden parts are together because they will not be visible. Then you wanna take a wooden stick I previously measured the stick and cut it so that it was fitting to the crates. And for the nails, you'll want to hammer in four nails. So you'll do two at the end and two in the middle. And this will be the top of our puppet theater. So we're gonna flip it over so that we can do the bottom. We are using two short sticks. So we'll put one at the end in the middle and we'll use two nails. We will hammer them in, making sure that one is on each crate. So that way that stick is attaching the crates and they won't come apart. As I flip over the crate, you'll notice that I have a stick that I put underneath the crate. This is important to have so that your crate is level. And that way when you're using your hammer and your nails, the pieces are going in evenly, mainly your nails, and they're not being hammered in lopsided. Now that we have our crate flipped over, we're going to grab our long sticks and then we're going to hot glue it to the side of the crates. Once we have our long wooden sticks glued to the sides of the crates, then we'll get our wooden dowel rod and we'll put it through the sheer red curtains that we have. Once we have our stick with the curtains on it, then we're going to glue it on top of the two sticks on each side of the crate.
the only curtains that I found were really long. So I'm just taking some scissors and cutting it so that it is the same length or even a little bit shorter than the length of the crates. If you look at the crate, you'll notice that there are those lines and I don't want it to be see-through like that. So I am using foam board and I'm cutting pieces of it to put inside of the crate. That way, if someone is behind doing a puppet show, the kids won't see that person because there won't be any holes. letters and I cut these out on my Cricut Maker using felt. So once I have all of my letters spaced out evenly, then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue it onto the crates. Here is the final product and I have to say that I am actually blown away by this project. A couple things I want to show you is how the nails look. So that is how your nails should look where there's two in the middle and two on the sides. Now what would a puppet theater be without puppets? So I did create some puppets using my Cricut Maker and I love how the pig and the cow turned out. The horse, not so much because I ran out of brown felt and so he just looks kind of weird. My next YouTube video will teach you how to create this barn puppet. So be sure you're subscribed to my channel and click the notification button so you don't miss any uploads. I really appreciate you watching this video and if you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, leave them in the comment section and I would love to hear your feedback on this project.